Closed captioning for the Casey Malone Show is sponsored by Hunter Stevens Land Title Agency. Integrity, service, and commitment you can trust. Oh, yeah. Casey Malone is serving up local. It's time for the stories of our region, the tastes, the sights, the sounds, and the people in and around the valley. Get ready for some local flavor on the Casey Malone Show. Today, it's a visit to the West Side Library, and we make spatchcock chicken with Chef Reggie. But first, to honor our veterans, a reminder of why they serve at the 9-11 Memorial Park. Well, this segment has been a long time in the making. Almost daily, I drive down Raccoon Road here in Austin Town by the 9-11 Memorial Park. And Pat Conley, who, the overseer of all things here at the park and really the one who got it together, every time I run into you, you said, when are you gonna come visit me? When are we gonna do a show on this? So I finally made it here and um, I just think, you know, you really, spurred everyone into action and got this whole part going. And why did you find that to be so important to honor the you know victims of 9-11? Well, I'm asked that question a lot. Uh, did I know anybody or have any relatives? And my answer was always the same. I knew every one of them. They were all Americans. And I, I figured I had to do something, you know, at that time, I felt every we were all everybody was mad, angry. Uh, you know, you, you felt a lot of different things, and uh, I just took it upon myself. I said, "We've got to do something." You know, that was the only way I could give back. How long did it take for you to put this plan into action after September 11? Well, what I did for a year, I didn't talk to nobody about it. I visited about 50 communities. I knew I wanted to build a memorial. And I found out that almost every community, I'd say 99% of them had a gazebo. And they had a little memorial of some type for uh, the war victims, policemen, firemen. And I would go and I'd ask the township uh, trustees or whatever, how did you do it? What did, what did it take? And, you know, they all basically had the same story. You had to go get the community involved funds. I found out that bricks were one way of getting some money, but uh, the main thing was a piece of property. Yes. And that's where I run into a little bit of a problem. <laughs> I got this land through the township by Lisa Oles. And, uh, if it wasn't for Lisa, I don't know where I would have been or where I would have went. And when she first brought me down here, I just looked around. I mean, we're, you were looking at a, just a field here. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And uh, and the first thing I said to myself, this is kind of big, you know. So I'll use part of it. Well, it turned out that we used every inch, and I'm glad it ain't twice as big or we'd still be going. Well, when you enter the park, the first thing you see are beams from the World Trade Center. Mm -hmm. I mean, and what, you say they go down almost eight more feet they're, to secure they're, them. Yeah, they're eight, down eight feet. The, uh, the iron workers... Uh, did all the work for us. They took it over to their uh, shop over there in the Borman and welded it all together. And and uh, why why the chapel? What what made you want to uh, erect that? I, I just felt with a memorial, there had to be a place to make peace or if you wanted to pray, you know, that the yeah, chapel for would be for meditation. Yeah. Yes, and this pagoda honors those that were on Flight, Flight 93. 93. It's, uh, we have the names down here of each passenger that was on the plane that day. Let's Roll was supposed to be supposed to be the last thing that was said by Bre Bremer. So, uh, and then what is we it have, you earn? We have soil for work at Flight 93. We got stones from the Pentagon. You are like a professional. Now, how, how did you go about acquiring the, these stones? <laughs> That's the a story brick and itself. mortar. Yeah, this, uh, believe it or not, this stone here weighs over 200 pounds. I know it, it don't look it, but it does. Now the gazebo is shaped? Pentagonal shape. The Pentagon. So that's really yeah. what you need. You need money and you yeah. need it, volunteers it, to keep this it, it takes a lot to, you know, keep the park, keep it up. And uh, we can always use donations.
The rule I made here was no politics, none. I don't care if you're my brother or who you are, you mention politics, you're finished at the memorial. Because I haven't seen anything that politics hasn't ruined. I don't accept federal money, no state money, no township money, and no Mahoney County money. Because then they, from what I've seen a lot of times, then they feel like they own it or they own part of it. And nobody owns this but the people. And that's the way it'll always be. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. I am here with Rude the Dude from the Magic Tree <laughs> Pub and Eatery and Fall Specials are here. Look at these beautiful Yes, Casey. Cocktails. Yes, they are. These are actually some of the drinks that our bar team developed here. We have a pumpkin spice latte martini. Uh, we have a devil's blood drink here. And then we have an apple cider sangria here using local cider from the area here that we, uh, we represent for the city. And I'll tell you, the farm to table continues into fall. Yes. Chef Reggie has got excellent specials yes, each and every yes, night. Yes, yes, yes. We're still using the farm to table menu. Uh, supporting the local farms. Uh, it's, it's a different mix and match every night. Reggie's creative mind just runs back there and we just let him go with it. And uh, if you guys been here before, you, you've experienced some of his dishes. And remember, it is eat, drink, and celebrate. And that party room is ready to go. Yes. Come on out to the Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. Fall is in the air. Salud. Cheers. At the Vein Center in Med Spa, we realize the serious health issue varicose veins can cause. We know it's more than just cosmetic. We provide you with caring and personal service in a clean and friendly atmosphere. All vein procedures are done in our office during convenient and flexible hours by a medical doctor with over 20 years experience. The Vein Center in Med Spa also offers fillers and neurotoxin procedures, hydrofacials, and laser hair removal services. Call the Vein Center in Med Spa for a free consultation. See why our patients leave satisfied. Now accepting Anthem and Highmark. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Bernard. I've been giving the people of our valley free advice for 30 years, and my message has never changed. If you're involved in an automobile accident, don't try to handle it yourself. Call a lawyer. A lawyer will be your representative, dealing with doctors, medical insurance, and all the red tape that you may encounter. Hiring a lawyer doesn't mean you'll end up in court. And remember, there are no upfront fees on personal injury cases. That's good advice. Need a lawyer? Learn more at ElizabethBernardLaw.com. Mayflower Wilm is your full-service, independent insurance agency. We work with several insurance companies to offer you choices for your insurance needs. We'll find the right product at the right price. Personal, business, farm, life, trust Mayflower Wilm. You focus on what's important, we'll take care of the details. Mayflower Wilm, close by with three locations to serve you. Is it time to update your color style? RNS Paint will assist you with your choice of over 3,400 Benjamin Moore colors. Vibrant, durable, and easy to apply. Be current, be stylish. Shop RNS Paint. Five Buck Burger Mondays at Sadie's Place, inside the Best Western, Route 46, Austin Town. Here at the upstairs, we cater to everyone. When you come through the door, I treat you as though you're my friend. So there's all kinds of options here at the upstairs. There's something on that menu for everyone. Great food, friendly service, very clean restaurant. There's a lot of restaurants, a lot of good restaurants in our community. So I always feel honored when someone comes here. I want everybody coming through that door to leave here with a good experience. Ruli Brothers is way ahead of the competition. Check out Ruli Spice World, where you can buy bulk herbs and spices, plus candies, nuts, and fillings for pennies on the dollar. Shop Ruli Brothers, home of the famous Evening Express.
Take a musical journey November 11th at 2 p.m. at the Tyler History Center to honor this centennial of Armistice Day. $5 tickets for veterans and active military. Sponsored by First Energy. Call 330-743-2589 or visit MahoningHistory.org for tickets. So you want the best cooking tips, right? For any time you entertain or for the holidays. We're going right to the source. We've got Jake and Reggie, chefs here at Magic Tree Pub and Eatery. And we are going to spatchcock yes. a chicken. Yes. yes. Tell me about spatchcocking. Um, so spatchcocking is, um, uh, simply put, butterflying the chicken. We're gonna take the backbone out and um, it's gonna help us to uh, have a more evenly cooked chicken in the end. And uh, does it help decrease the cooking time at all? Oh, absolutely. You think it makes it a little bit quicker of a process? Yes. But absolutely. it's even. Yeah. No a dryness. Bit easier. It's a lot easier than trying to get the butcher's twine out and trying to truss it up. That's a little more difficult. So this is a lot easier um, for people at home to do, so. All right, so where we started was uh, 24 hours prior to cooking, we brined it. So basic brine is water, uh, sugar, and salt. And then I like to add some herbs and some citrus into it just for a little extra flavor. And this is a fryer size yeah, chicken. Yeah, fryer size chicken, which is uh, approximately four to five pounds and we're gonna dry it off real nice. Um, the drying also is gonna help make it a little easier to cut. What we wanna do is put the backbone up and we're just gonna go right to the side of the backbone. So a sharp knife is a must. Yeah, and you gotta just go through the bone a little bit and we're gonna spin it around because I'm right-handed here. We're just gonna cut that backbone right out. Turn it over, and we got a spatchcock chicken. We're gonna take our hand, and we're gonna loosen the skin away from the, uh, the meat a little bit. So we're gonna go under the thighs here, and just kinda loosen that skin up. And then we're gonna go same under the breast here, and we're gonna loosen the skin. What we made here is a compound butter. So it's some softened butter with lots of herbs, some citrus zest and juice, some salt and pepper. And we're gonna take this butter and we're going to put it up under the skin. So what this is gonna do is add another layer of flavor just like the brine. It's gonna help to um, uh, kind of baste the chicken and also help with making the skin nice and crispy. All right, so once we get that in there, we can also use a little bit of this butter to kind of season the outside. So from there, once I got that done, I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. It's because you wanna make sure um, the uh, oil or the butter is going to um, conduct heat, which is gonna help in getting that nice, even uh, golden brown sear on the outside. So we'll put that on and then a little bit of salt and pepper so this is uh, the next tip that I want to share with people. Instead of using a roasting rack, we're going to use our mirepoix as our rack. Um, you want to elevate the chicken a little bit, so you'd normally use a rack. But we're going to use the mirepoix here. Um, we're going to take the chicken that we have prepared. We're going to set it right on top, just like it's our roasting rack. Um, and then what this is going to do uh, with all those drippings coming down and as you're basting. That will um, season the vegetables rather than you absolutely. seasoning them. Absolutely. And then you're going to have that roasted vegetable flavor in there with those drippings, which then is going to help in making your gravy more flavorful. All right. So we preheated the oven to 375. Yep, absolutely. So last thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to take a little bit of white wine in the bottom of my pan. Yes. Because if we don't put any liquid in the bottom, we might, it might start to burn a little bit. And then also we're gonna put a little bit of uh, chicken stock in the bottom, which I have right Okay, here. there you go. So we're gonna grab a little bit of chicken so stock. So if people don't wanna cook with alcohol, they can just go straight chicken yeah, stock. Yeah, they can use just straight chicken stock if they don't wanna use any alcohol. But we like to add a little bit of, little bit of wine in there I for that extra flavor. I think wine is excellent. It really adds a little different depth. 
Gives it so, some rich flavor. I think so too. All right, so from there, we're just gonna throw that into the oven. Start your oven at 375. And then All in 15 right. minutes, we'll turn it down to 350. Yeah, after okay. 15 minutes, you'll get that nice sear on the skin. It'll get it started. Then we're gonna turn it down to 350 and we're gonna let it roast for another uh, 40 to 45 minutes. So we're gonna take it out of the pan. And we wanna rest it with the breast down. And then we're just gonna kinda loose, <laughs> loosely cover it up with some foil just to keep it warm. All right, so after we have the chicken resting, we're gonna put the pan with all that goodness in it right on the stove. We're gonna go high heat. And what we're gonna do is take some white wine and we're gonna add the white wine right into the pan. So you're gonna make the gravy with the vegetables in it? Yeah, that, that's just gonna help to add extra layers of flavor into that gravy. So it's not just stock thickened with roux. So you can see we kinda got some of that stuff wow. coming off the pan there. And we yes. got that nice juice in there and you can see how deep it is and there's lots of flavor going on in there. So we'll add some chicken stock into here. So we just kind of want to bulk that up because we didn't really have enough pan drippings in there to make enough gravy. We're just going to take this. I got Jake helping me out here. We're going to strain that beautiful liquid out. Whenever you're using roux, you want to make sure your liquid is at a boil before you start using it. So then what we're going to do is uh, just start adding a little bit of the roux into it. And then you can, you'll just eyeball when it gets to yeah. the thickness. You know, some thickness people might want. like their gravy a little thicker than others. So we'll add a little bit out of the time. We'll strain it out and that'll get any of those excess lumps out of it. We'll put some of that beautiful gravy on there. What do you think? It's perfect. It is moist, flavorful. This gravy is off the hook. It is excellent. And it's so easy. I cannot believe it. I was really intimidated by the spatchcock. Yeah, I think the word is a lot more intimidating <laughs> than the actual, uh, you know, than what you actually have to do. Oh my um, gosh, it's so it's a lot good. Rudy, Jake, thank you. Go to my website, CaseyMaloneShow.com, and you'll find Reggie's recipe for spatchcock chicken. The Casey Malone Show will be right back with more local flavor. To own a business where your name's on the window can be pretty cool. That's my family. My name is Danny Catullo, and I'm the owner of Catullo Prime Meats. My grandfather started the business in 1962. I was able to take our old style butcher shop and bring it out to the new age using e-commerce to get our products to more customers. When we started shipping, there was not a ton of information out there. That's where we really worked with FedEx so they could be able to help us with our perishable shipping. We were taking on new purchases that we never had to make before. Boxes, coolers, ice packs, anything that was involved around shipping. So we can no longer do this with the cash that we had on hand. So because of the plum card from American Express and all of its benefits, it was a natural fit to help grow our business. And when someone calls and lets you know that you made their dinner, that's satisfaction that you can't get anywhere else. RNS Paint is a locally owned paint store and not a paint department. Inspiration comes easy when choosing exciting Benjamin Moore colors and finish. Over 3,400 vibrant and durable colors are yours at RNS Paint. Open the Jewel Box, the Courthouse Inn, organic vegetarian comfort food, handcrafted cocktails, fine wine and beer, fresh baked cakes and pies. Recharge your senses at the Courthouse Spa. Dazzling dining, artfully prepared, locally sourced ingredients, spa services, 
The Courthouse Inn feels like a world away just down the road in historic Lisbon, Ohio. I am blessed with a wonderful husband. He stuck with me through thick and thin, and he's a fantastic father. So when he needed long-term care, not just any place would do, we did our research. Everyone said, trust the name you know, Briarfield. With all those locations, there's always one close. That made it easy for me and the kids to visit more often, Briarfield. Trust the name you know, Briarfield. Proudly serving the Valley for over 20 years. We've been in the Mahoning County for 70 years. We're not going anywhere. Bree and I have been in this business since we were kids. My grandpa built the business off of loyalty, honesty, and trust. My grandfather, my father, they have a legacy here. We have learned all of these great things from both of them that, you know, we will be sure to keep the legacy going into the fourth generation. Get real, get Kamara. Four for five till six. Happy hour at Sadie's Place inside the Best Western, Route 46, Austin Town. At Rooley Brothers, the family is in the store. Meats, deli, produce, even the checkout. We work hard to ensure that you get the best products at a personal shopping experience. At Rooley Brothers Markets, our customers are our top priority. Our family is in the store. Take a musical journey November 11th at 2 p.m. at the Tyler History Center to honor the centennial of Armistice Day. $5 tickets for veterans and active military. Sponsored by First Energy. Call 330-743-2589 or visit MahoningHistory.org for tickets. Well, I've been waiting patiently for the brand new library on Youngstown's west side. And the executive director, Amy Pfeifferick, this is your first grand opening since you've taken over as executive director. That's very true, yes. I started on December 29th, so it's, uh, it's been a whirlwind. I can't say, I can't take any credit for this except to uh, be here to cut the ribbon. <laughs> now, when you came in and you saw the plans for this building, I mean, you had to be impressed because this is just something that is just so out of the ordinary for our neighborhood here. Oh, definitely. And when I came to visit the very first time, it was, uh, it was, there wasn't anything on the inside, but the walls were up. And I knew as soon as I saw the wonderfully warm wood on the walls that it was going to be a great welcoming place. And you come to us from the Phoenix area. Yes, yeah, I was most recently at Phoenix Public Library. Do you see library membership increasing or, you know, from days past or increasing because of all the different technology that's offered? Well, I will say that libraries do suffer from um, uh, the sort of that, uh, that stereotype of the traditional bun, woman with the bun shushing you and uh, being a <laughs> warehouse with books, right? Yes. And we are so very much unlike that anymore that really it takes people coming into the library to see what we have. So this is a light box for people that do eBay and things like that. Absolutely, you just put uh, whatever your item is that you want to sell or photograph inside, put your digital camera on top and um, take the photo. The light is built in so it helps get uh, make it as pretty as it can be. <laughs> I mean, they're at button makers. Button makers, everybody loves buttons. It's not exactly high tech. Uh, we, we do charge for materials on a cost yeah. recovery basis, uh, but using the, the uh, things themselves is free. You have vinyl. Yes. You can transfer your vinyl and your VCRs, correct? Yep, yep, VHS tapes. Yeah. yeah. But here we have um, a transfer machine. So our, um, our branch manager today, made his uh, hippo t-shirt. That's the design, you see our logo in here. It's printed out on this large format printer. You can print on a variety of materials. Or and then this will be part of like classes that you have to, you know, educate um, children or adults. Or adults, it's actually yeah. for all ages. <laughs> this is a sound recording studio. I mean, they've got the board. This is an Apple program, huh? Yes, yeah, Apple computer. We've got keyboard. Uh, guitars, drum set, and a really rocking microscope. I, microphone. Microphone. <laughs> what is that? That is huge. It's, it's beautiful. Cardioid? Cardioid? Now, are you going to come and help the kids and adults yeah. with classwork when they need to learn this? Right. 
yeah, we provide trainings online and stuff. So if you're interested, we can just. And I think uh, the library is also um, uh, letting people sign up for training. So if we get so many people, I'll be here training all this uh, um, all this equipment. This is a fun little kids area. It is, so <laughs> it is. they have all kinds of activities for them and they're not shushing the children. No, no, definitely no shushing. So we have a, a play area here with, um, the curtains are made out of real theater, the material that theater curtains are made of and all kinds of costumes. Yeah. We have a, uh, play kitchen because the kids love to play kitchen yeah. and different areas back here where you can trace and use various manipulatives all with the Maple Grove theme on the top because of course the Rocky Ridge neighborhood has donated us yes. a grove of maple trees. Um, one of the big um, things on the horizon is our partnership with the Camel School District. Yes. They've been hosting us in their field house since we had to close our Camel Library branch. And Matt Bowen, who's the superintendent out there, is working on an entire um, STEM school and cultural center. The library is going to have a 3,000 square foot space out there with makerspace. And it's really going to help people um, make that transition from school into work, really focusing on STEM and especially the medical um, fields. So I'm so happy that we can be part of that project because it, it really is ambitious. Yeah, <laughs> well, we're, I'll have to come down for that Absolutely. grand opening too. <laughs> well, I really appreciate this. This has been great. And welcome. Well, thank you very en much. Enjoy our, our fair city. Absolutely. <laughs> The Casey Malone Show is sponsored in part by Denise and John York and the DeBartlow Corporation.